In our discussion of buffers, we talked about how a buffer is composed of a weak acid and its conjugate base. Okay, and we alluded to the fact that the ratio of the acid and the base is what dictates the pH for a given acid-base pair. Okay, and what we started to kind of realize here is that if we think about this gradient, okay, um, in the middle of this gradient, we have a situation where the pH equals the pKa. Okay, and when the pH equals the pKa, we can decipher from the henderson hasselbalch equation that the concentration of the base must be equal to the concentration of the acid. That's the only way for pH to equal pKa according to this equation. So under these conditions, the concentration of the base must be equal to the concentration of the acid. Now, in a situation where the pH is less than the pKa, this means that we are on the acidic side of the pKa, and the way this ends up being true is that the concentration of the acid form of the buffer is greater than the concentration of the base form. That is, when the pH is more acidic than the pKa, we have a higher concentration of the acid form of the buffer than we do of the base form of the buffer. But the opposite's true when the pH is greater than the pKa. Under these conditions, the pH is more basic than the pKa, and the way this happens is that we have a higher concentration of base than we do of the acid. So we have this continuum where the relationship between the pH and the pKa is related to the relationship between the weak acid and the conjugate base. And this is how we're going to approach the concept of speciation. So speciation is the idea that if we have a molecule like our weak acid, we can develop conditions that force this molecule to convert into a different form or a different chemical species. Okay, so at any given condition or for our purposes, any given pH, we can think about the amount of the acid form of our buffer and the amount of the base form of our buffer. This is known as speciation, and as we're gonna see uh, as we move through the class, this idea becomes really, really important in thinking about the reactivity of biomolecules, okay? And the way that I wanna present this and show this is known as a speciation curve. So the way that these speciation curves work is we are gonna plot the concentration of all of our chemical species on one axis, okay? So in this situation, we have a weak acid that can be converted to a weak base. So we have two possible chemical species. Okay, and we're gonna plot this as a function of pH. And we choose pH because it's the variable that can impact this different ratio, right? So we establish with the henderson hasselbalch equation that if we change the pH, it's gonna impact this ratio of acid to base. So it'll impact the speciation of our buffer. Okay, so we talked about that when the pH is less than the pKa, we have a higher concentration of acid than we do base. So practically what this means is that when we are at really, really low pHs, so the pH is much more acidic than the pKa, we have a very high concentration of the acid. And this is effectively 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this point right here 100%. Okay, but as the pH changes, if we were to use the henderson hasselbalch equation to actually calculate the concentration of our acid, what we would see is that it starts to drop off as the pH becomes more basic. Okay, and eventually it will get to a point where the amount is roughly 0%. 
okay? And as it turns out, the reason its concentration drops off is because the concentration of the base increases, right? As we make the solution more basic, the concentration of base increases as the concentration of acid decreases. Okay, so we can plot this in our curve by saying at really acidic pHs, we have a lot more acid than we have base, so the base is essentially zero. And about the same point where the concentration of acid starts to decrease, the concentration of the base starts to increase. Okay, and it will maximize where the, uh, the acid form minimizes. Okay, so we have these two uh, related curves. The concentration of the acid, which we start with at really acidic pHs, starts at 100% and drops off to 0%. While the concentration of the base, which is really small at acidic pHs, increases as the pH becomes more basic. And at some point, it reaches about 100%. Okay, and <clears throat> the most important point on this curve occurs right here at the intersection. Okay, when these two concentrations are equal, at this point right here, which is 50%, 50% of the solution is the acid form, 50% is the base form. So we have equal concentrations, and we know when we have equal concentrations, this occurs when the pH equals the pKa. So at this point right here, our pH equals the pKa. Okay, so this is the idea of chemical speciation. And it's pretty simple for um, what we call a monoprotic acid, an acid that can only be deprotonated once to form a conjugate base. In the next video, we're going to explore the idea of polyprotic acids, and we're going to think about how um, these speciation curves look when we're dealing with a polyprotic acid. We'll also be able to establish a pretty easy way of calculating the pHs all along the way.